I won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret code, 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 Science can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Science can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret code. It's the only terrestrial-type planet for the next 100 light years. And what do we do here? Oh, it's filthy everywhere. But it has air suitable for breathing, which means we can walk around without spacesuits and catch a little sun. Nobody has imparted upon me any form except, of course, for that nice asteroid a couple million years ago. <laughs> Who's there? I'm right here. Silly. Oh, don't be so sensitive. I'm enjoying it. Let's get acquainted. Darling, you don't have to be formal, even if I'm older than you by a few million years. I agree. And it's no big deal. <laughs> You're funny. Want to play? Oh, wait, wait. Ready. Out. Oh, ow, ow, ow. All alone, all alone, even flowers can't be grown. All alone, all alone, you can sing, you can dance. This, this very day of silent trance, it's, it's not comfortable alone. It's a bad addiction and it's time to give it up. If there's two, you know why, that when one begins to cry, that the other wouldn't think to let the first one sing. When there's two, it's on you, that's enough, stop the bluff. So pull and reach one and each. Best to you know why That when one begins to cry That the other wouldn't think to let the first one sing When there's two, it's on you That's enough, stop the block So pull and reach, one and each All alone, all alone There is no one to condone All alone, all alone Your dog won't bring the bone don't think that life's a wrong if you live your life alone. It's a bad, bad addiction and it's time to give it up. If there's two, you know why. That when one begins to cry, that the other wouldn't think to let the first one sing. When there's two, it's on you. That's enough. Stop the bluff. So pull and reach one and each. If there's two, you know why. That when one begins to cry, that the other wouldn't think to let the first one sing. When there's two, it's on you. That's enough. Stop the bluff. So pull and reach one and each. Fasten your seatbelts. 
The countdown is beginning. Ten. At least we're nine, leaving. Eight, I almost died at four. Seven, six, it seems five, I took a little four, too much vitamin three, D. Two, well, I one, like take it. Take off. Here we go. Hmm, what an amazingly vicious substance. We need to take a sample to analyze. It's a very tricky kind of mud. I wipe and I wipe and it's as if there's just more and more of it. Just wait. I feel like we're going to be stuck it's in this puddle for ages. It's a very tricky kind of mud. I wipe and I wipe and it's as if there's just more and more of it. Why do you need to fly off, silly? After all, we've had so much fun together. An entire eternity awaits us. Eternity? Yes. As long as your lifespan doesn't separate us, we'll stay together. I'm afraid I'm not entirely ready for that sort of a relationship. Well, that's too bad for you, sweetheart. Since someone here doesn't really have a choice. But you could at least let the others go. Of course. Not after all. Your marvelous life form won't be able to last long without the silly life support system. I don't understand. How is this possible? Nothing can conquer this mud. Not fire, not water, not even a laser cannon. Hmm, yes. It is a strange substance. If we can't act by attacking, then perhaps we need to increase our defense. And what do you mean by that? Well, you take, for example, this suntan cream that for some silly reason I didn't use yet. Everybody already knows that excess sunshine is harmful since its rays are ultraviolet, which can cause sunburn on the skin. We can't make anything from ultraviolet emissions. We can't even see it with the naked eye. Therefore, the most simple and effective means is to protect your skin from ultraviolet with the help of this sunblock lotion. The lotion contains nanoparticles of titanium oxide, each one no bigger than 100 nanometers. They very effectively block out ultraviolet emissions and don't allow it to hit the skin. So you're suggesting that we not fight with mud, but rather cover the sphere jet with something in order to protect it from the mud? <laughs> it's, it's all my fault. It's holding us here, and all because I'm such a nice guy. My self-criticizing friend, about whom are you talking? Well, I, well me, I, I, Oh, you won't believe me anyway. I don't want to spend the remaining better years of my life in this mud. Rosa, can I ask you Go for ahead. some advice? Go ahead. This friend of mine doesn't want to go out with this girl, but she really insists. How do you explain to her that they have nothing in common? Wait a second. Who's this friend of yours you're talking about? Are you talking about Wally? No, you don't understand at all. Insisting, you say? Well, I'll show him a future together! Eh, I say let your friend tell his girlfriend exactly that. Stop chasing after me. You don't really butter my bread. You're not exactly my type. You need to be stricter with them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. Maybe checkers. Listen, we need to have a serious talk. You're so cute when you frown like that. <laughs> I'm not cute. And by the way, my rose in general is not for you. What? Figuratively speaking, of course. Maybe a word game. Well, don't mind if I do. Hmm. Barry's advice hasn't really helped my friend. 
I'm afraid there's no universally correct method for these things. For what? So, what should he do? Rosa, stop it! Let him try to be more patient of others' feelings. In this I... universe, hmm, there's so little love. What was that for? You've come back too soon, sweetheart. I'm still angry at you, Chico. Forgive me, please. For what? For being so mean and s silly. Of course, I forgive you, sweetheart. Could anyone truly be angry so long at such a cutie? I need to tell you something else. You are scaring me. My friend, how did you manage it? Oh, I carefully researched the nanoparticles that Doko was talking about. You know, they have a very interesting property. If you carefully investigated nanoparticles which Doko told me about, they have had a very interesting property. If you look closely at titanium dioxide particles, then you'll notice that the atoms on their surface are very poorly connected with the others. These atoms are active and easily undergo chemical reactions. If enough ultraviolet light falls on them, they split the closest molecules of water into pieces. These charged particles scatter in different directions and split other molecules. If there are any organic compounds nearby, then bang, bang, and kaput. It means that if we cover any surface with titanium dioxide nanoparticles, then no dirt will be able to stick to this surface, providing there's ultraviolet emissions nearby. And maybe we could have planted something in it. It would have grown, <laughs> you water it, <laughs> and so on. That'd be interesting if I say so myself. Why didn't I think of that earlier? So what did you, I mean, your friend, tell his girl in the end? If then you know why that when one pig is cry, that the other wouldn't think to let the first one sing. When there's two, it's on you, that's enough, stop the block. So pull and reach one and each.